Before I do anything else today is that I'm trying to find cell phone service because I've been without cell phone service for about 24 hours now and uh, I'm sure I've got people wondering where the hell I am so first thing on my agenda find cell phone service and then once I do that then I will be all through Bryce Canyon exploring and all that good stuff and show you what I find this red canyon is really cool though I honestly think it's one of my favorite places I've been uh, the formations are amazing so again if you're in this area Red Canyon check it out here's a cool bridge or tunnel that's not a bridge well I guess it could be a bridge oh here's another one those little tunnels would be cool places to do light riding and I was out here pretty late last night and there were no cars so it's a strong possibility that it's doable but anyway all right, headed to find cell phone service into Bryce Canyon. Look where I am. Another absolutely incredible location. Haven't really found anything exciting to light paint, but this is the Sunrise Trail in Bryce Canyon. Absolutely beautiful. So I really like these trees and I'm hoping to find one of those that I can light paint that doesn't have any other trees or anything in the background. It'd be epic if I could find that tree with that view, light paint the tree and then allow the scene to burn in. It'd be really cool. So I'm on the hunt. Definitely some potential to light paint here at Sunrise Point, but I'm gonna go into the park more and see what else I can find. Spot number two definitely is gonna be here at Rainbow View. I don't know, the wind is Mental. It's got to be blowing 40 miles an hour. It's crazy. I really do wonder if it's going to completely die and just be silent up here after the sun goes down. But just an incredible, incredible view. Look how far you can see here. There are two spots right up here that I definitely want to shoot. One is a bench that has an insane view, and then the other spot is a cut down tree. And I like to make these uh, like sparkly kind of designs on trees that have been chopped. It's just to me, it kind of means like life always comes back, it rebuilds, and um, there's a perfect spot for one of those. People are all around those areas right now, so um, I didn't stop, but I saw them, definitely want to shoot there. That bench over there is one spot I want to shoot, and then this right here is the other spot I want to shoot. Cool roots right here, insane view, and awesome spot. It's kind of close to the edge, but hopefully I'll be able to create the sparkly effect there, illuminate some of these roots, and make it look like life is gonna come back into this tree. Tell you what I don't wanna do, is I don't want to be standing here, trip and fall, and go down that cliff. 
All right, so I've got two different spots here in Bryce that I found that I really like. Rainbow Point and Sunrise Point. Uh, Sunrise Point is a much longer hike down the trail, whereas Rainbow Point right here, it's a real short hike to the couple spots that I liked. I'm probably gonna shoot here tonight at Rainbow Point because I'm tired. <laughs> um, and hopefully, get a good night's sleep tonight, rest up tomorrow, and then do the hike down to Sunrise Point down in the canyon and shoot that tomorrow night. But for now, I think I'm gonna head back, get some food. There's a place you can eat here. Um, I had some laundry mat, hot water food, but I'm gonna see if there's a restaurant or something in town, not in town, but in the park where there's more stuff. All right, that's it. Check back in when I go shoot tonight. I just found a really cool spot for one of my dimensional doorways. And it is literally right by the parking lot. It is this tree that I'm walking through right now. Right there i could create one of my dimensional doorways and make it look like the doorway is what split that tree so i think that might be a really cool shot too at a completely different place though so this is like halfway between rainbow point and sunrise point It's cold out here. The wind's blowing 30 miles an hour and it is freezing. I'm freezing. This will be my first shot of the night right here on the little tree stump thingy on the edge over there. So I've got the camera set up here to get this whole scene as well as right on the right side of the frame, we've got the uh, tree and these roots are kind of coming into the frame. Let's see if I can show you real quick. So you've got the background, which there's gonna be a full moon, so it should be able to open up for that. And then I'll create the light painting part right over here. So you're gonna have the light painting part and then also the beautiful scene. Uh, again, shooting with the Canon 6D Mark II, I'm using a remote shutter and the Rokinon 14 millimeter manual lens. Again, so I can change the aperture during the exposure. The only two tools that I'm using for this shot are these right here, the color hood and the light pen. I'm gonna use the light pen to create the sparkles, color hood to illuminate the scene. What I'm doing now is creating the illuminated tree, uh, part of my organic series using the leaf plexi, using the orange, uh, this is the white one, just using it for light, but using the orange opaque light writer, the yellow light pen, and the white light pen to create some sparkles, and one color hood just to illuminate the ground. Here we go.
All right, guys, that's wrapping it up for day one here at Bryce Canyon. I only shot in this one location. I kind of fell in love with it. Uh, the moon was out from the clouds and then back behind the clouds so the lighting of the canyon kept changing and all that stuff so I just sat here didn't move and made a bunch of stuff plus I'm super freaking tired and I'm freezing it is so freaking cold here the wind is again blowing at like 30 miles an hour right now and it's 50 something 58 degrees with 30 mile an hour winds and I'm, I'm not dressed for it I got one hoodie that's it Anyway, um, had a great night here. This park is amazing. It is beautiful. It is wonderful. The views are extraordinary. It's just insane. I'm staying at least one more night here. Um, probably gonna hopefully get a good night's sleep tonight and then I'll hike down into the canyon tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night and shoot down in there. One other thing, I may stop at that other spot where I wanted to do the dimensional doorway between those two trees. I don't know if I'm gonna stop there tonight or not. I'm gonna probably stop, check it out, just see. I may walk down there just depending on how it looks um, and how I feel when I get there because it's like 10 miles away or whatever I'm gonna drive down. But if I stop there, I'll film that too. But if not, this is wrapping up day one here at Bryce Canyon. Got a couple cool ones and I'll show you what I made. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. Thank you for the support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the subscribe button down below. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. Any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section. I'll answer anything that I can. And until the next video, get out there and get creative.